So I've been getting a lot of comments like these. Can you do a learning how to handstand in a couple days next? Try learning how to do a handstand next. Suggestion. Next video, try to do a handstand push-up. Your videos are hey, cool. Hey bro, go for handstand push-up. Hey man, push you should try the I learned how to do a freestanding handstand. 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 handstand I learned how to do a handstanding handstand. Alright, okay. I'll do it. For the next 24 hours, I'm gonna attempt to learn how to handstand, with the goal of being able to hold one for a full 10 seconds. Now just to get a baseline, here's me attempting to do a handstand without having done any research or practice. Oh, sketchy, hold on. And as you can see, I'm barely able to hold it for longer than a second. So let's start this challenge and learn the handstand. Anyway, just like all of my other calisthenic skill learning videos, I've created an extremely detailed plan of action as to how I'm going to learn this handstand hold. Right now, it's currently 2.03 p.m. It's time to go step by step through my plan of action. Step one, learn. So I've went through quite a few videos here. Now before I move on to my next step, let me just go over some of the key takeaways of what I just learned. In case you want to learn how to hold a handstand as well, here are some things that'll help. Arms should be shoulder width apart. Tuck butt in, like that. Push up and through shoulder. Instead of holding like this, you're holding like this. Squeeze your thighs together. Point your toes up. Use your hands and fingers to really grip the ground. Exhale as you go into the handstand. And one last thing, which isn't really a bullet point, it's more so an explanation. When you're doing a handstand, your hands are pretty much like your feet, except our feet have heels. And as you can see, our hands don't have heels. See? nothing here. So that's why when we stand, we don't fall back because we have heels. So what we have to do instead is lean our body forward so that the majority of our weight is on our fingers. Okay, learning phase is over. Let's go to step two. Step two, warm up. All right, now my body's feeling a little bit out of line and to be able to do the handstand, it requires that you are fully aligned. So I'm gonna go get an adjustment so that the odds are in my favor of learning this handstand within 24 hours. Let's do it. So we're learning handstands. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So what we're looking for are any misalignments or subluxations in your spine. Focus on dropping this shoulder. Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah. Right there, let that relax, chin up. Oh. Breathe out, Breathe out let that go. No. What? Oh yeah, there it is. I want to make sure that we take care. Elbow. Shoulder, wrist, and all that fun stuff. All right, now we're all aligned. I'm ready to take on the handstand. Let's do it. This is where I'm gonna be doing handstands nonstop for the next, what, five hours? I think it's pretty doable. All I have to do is just stand, but the other way around. I can stand straight like this for a week. I think I can manage 10 seconds on my other legs. So following my plan of action, I have to warm up right now. Warm up complete. Now we're going to the next step, which is wall assisted handstands. I want to be able to fully focus on getting proper form and not have to worry about falling over. So using a wall or a fence is perfect. I chose this spot in particular because there's just this one perfect little dandelion. All right, let's do it. Oh, scary. Oh my God, hold on. Oh, that is sketchy. Oh, wow. A lot of blood flow that rushes to your head. No. Okay. Oh, too aggressive. Uh, oh, whoa, I'm doing the splits. Okay, nope. It really helps when you grip the floor and you push through with your shoulders. It seems like keeping the legs more forward helps find that nice balance point. After practicing my handstand form against the fence, I finally felt ready to move on to the final step of my plan. Step four, keep doing the handstand in the middle of an open field until you get the one minute handstand, or at least 10 seconds. Nope. Wow, that was awful. Nope. Oh my. I got a little bit too used to the fence now because now my weight just swings forward. One, two, damn it. Nope. Wow. No. I had it. 
Yes. No. Yes. No. Pain is it's temporary. temporary. It may last for an hour. Oh, progress. Progress? Oh yeah, a lot of progress. Wow. Wow. I'm holding some of these for like three seconds, four seconds, but ultimately we're shooting for the 10 seconds. No! Oh, what if I hold it like this? Ooh, more stability. Angle my hands out. Wow, a lot more stability. Ooh, I think that's the move. After doing dozens of more handstands, my wrists and shoulders are starting to tire out. So I decided to stop there with my longest handstand being five seconds. All right, as of right now, I'm kind of done. I'm gonna go home, eat some food, and then I'm gonna give it a second go. Ugh. It's extremely difficult to film these food edits solo. Now my entire kitchen's a mess. I'm gonna enjoy my food, and then I'm gonna attempt to do some more handstands. currently 4 10 p.m. <sighs> I'm really sore right now. I've been doing a bunch of different fitness challenges for videos. My legs are completely sore. Same with my entire upper body. So doing hundreds of handstands in a row is really tiring. But luckily I do have 24 hours. So I'm going to try a few more right now. If I get it, then I'll get it. But if I don't get it right now, then at least I have the entire morning tomorrow to try it as well. I just don't have that much space in here. I'm really afraid of hitting my foot on this though. Okay, one more try, one more try. Okay, actual last one right now. How long was that? I need to know right now. That one was really long. I think that's my longest one. Yeah, I think I'm done. Guten Morgen. Boom. There's a $10 Amazon gift card. Enjoy. Okay. Breakfast time. I just need to fuel up before I do all these handstand attempts. Feeling good about it today though. I think I should be able to get the 10 seconds. Oh, and also here's another $10 Amazon gift card. All right, I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast now and then I'm gonna go do the 10 second handstand. All right, I have exactly one hour left in the 24 hour challenge. The timer is right here and we are starting this final hour right now. Three, two, one. Let's go. Ow. I'm gonna take a break. All right, 48 minutes left. I rested a decent amount. Let's get this done. garbage shut up eh, try again now I see why you guys wanted me to do this challenge so badly it is not easy all right I'm gonna take another break all right I've rested we're now at 11 minutes left not gonna lie I'm kind of losing hope here but I'm still gonna give it my all with each failed attempt I was slowly losing strength stamina, and most importantly, time. Now with only five minutes left, all I can do is give each last attempt my all. Oh my gosh. No, let's go. Yes, no. Oh. Come on. Yes, no. One minute. Oh, almost. Oh. My shoulders are dead. Oh no, 
I got this. No, no. Okay, last attempt. Uh. So, unfortunately, I was not able to get the 10 second handstand within 24 hours. But, but, I did some research really quick. I searched how long do you have to hold a handstand for it to count, and after reading all of the responses, it seems that the vast majority of people agree that five seconds is sufficient for you to be able to say that you've done a handstand. And I got multiple handstands that lasted longer than five seconds. So I've potentially earned your subscription for learning how to do a handstand within 24 hours? That was close. I don't know, I'll let you be the judge of that. It would be pretty awesome if you subscribed though. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers before the end of 2020. Now that I think about it, I also made a video where I learned how to one arm push up within one hour. So if you like videos like this, where I learn a skill as fast as I possibly can, you're really gonna like this one. Check it out if you want to. Thank you for watching, peace out.